Chapter 6, Section 3, Interactions of Waves. The three main questions that you need to answer by the end of this section. What changes the direction of a wave? What are the two types of wave interferences? And how do standing waves form? What changes the direction of waves? If you toss a ball against a wall, the ball bounces back in a new direction. Like a ball, waves can also change directions. Waves change directions, uh, waves change direction by reflection, refraction, and diffraction. Reflection, when a wave hits a surface, any part of the wave that cannot pass through the surface bounces back. This interaction with a surface is called reflection. Reflection happens often in your everyday life. When you, look, uh, when you looked in your mirror this morning, you used reflected light to see yourself. The echo you hear when you shout in an empty gym is also a reflection. In figure one, you can see how light waves are reflected. All reflected waves obey the law of reflection. If you look down at the bottom, the law of reflection, right here, the law of reflection, the law of reflection states that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. And if you look at this part right here, that explains what the angle of incidence is all the way down. Refraction. Have you ever ridden a skateboard and gone off the sidewalk into grass? If so, you know it's hard to keep moving in a straight line. The front wheel on the side moving into the grass slows down. The front wheel still on the sidewalk continues to move fast. The difference in the speeds of the two front wheels causes the skateboard to change direction. Like a skateboard that changes direction, change, changes in speed can cause waves to change direction. Look at figure two. When a wave enters a new medium at an angle, one side of the wave changes speed before the other side. This causes the bend, uh, this causes the wave to bend. Bending occurs because different parts of the wave travel at different speeds. Refraction is the bending of waves due to a change in speed. Waves do not always bend when entering a new medium. No bending occurs if a wave enters a new medium at a right angle. Bending does not occur if the speed of the wave in the new medium is the same speed of the wave in the old medium. Diffraction. Diffraction. Uh, waves sometimes bend around barriers or pass through openings. When a wave moves around a barrier or through an opening in a barrier, it bends and spreads out. These, waves inter these wave interactions are called diffraction. Two examples of diffraction are shown in figure three. What are the two types of wave interference? Have you ever seen soccer balls collide? The balls bounce off each other because they cannot be in the same place at the same time. Surprisingly, this is not true of waves. Unlike two balls, two waves can overlap when they meet. Interference is the interaction between waves that meet. There are two types of interference, constructive and destructive. Constructive interference. Interference in which waves combine to form a wave with a larger amplitude than any individual wave amp amplitude is called constructive interference. You can think of constructive interference as waves helping each other or adding their energies. 
For example, in figure 4, when the crests of two waves overlap, they make a higher crest. If two cr uh, troughs overlap, they make a deeper trough. In both cases, the amplitude of the combined crests and troughs increase. Destructive interference. Interference in which two waves combine to form a wave with a smaller amplitude than either original wave had is a destructive interference. Destructive interference can occur when the crest of one wave overlaps the trough of another wave. If the crest has a larger amplitude than the trough of the other wave, the crest wins and part of it remains. If the original trough had a larger ampl amplitude than the crest of the other wave, the result is a trough. If a crest and a trough have equal amplitude, they will completely cancel each other. Uh, cancel as shown in figure 5. Destructive interference is used in noise canceling headphones to block out distracting noises in a listener's surrounding. How do standing waves form? If you tie a rope to a doorknob and shake the in a free end, waves will travel down the rope reflect at the end and come back. The reflected waves will meet the incoming waves and interference occurs. If the incoming wave and reflected wave have just the right frequency, they combine to form a wave that appears to be standing still. This wave is called a standing wave. A standing wave is a wave that appears to stand in one place even though it is two waves interfering as they pass through each other. Nodes and antinodes. In a standing wave, destructive interference produces points with zero amplitude called nodes, as shown in figure six. The nodes are always evenly spaced along the wave. At a point in the standing wave where the constructive interference occurs, the amplitude is greater than zero. Points of maximum amplitude on the standing wave is called antinode or antinodes. The antinodes always occur halfway between two nodes. Resonance. Have you ever pushed a child on a swing? At first, the swing is difficult to push, but once it is going, you need only a gentle push to keep it going. This is because the swing has natural frequency. Even small pushes that are in rhythm with the swing's natural frequency produce large increase in the swing's amplitude. Most objects have at least one natural frequency of vibration. Standing waves occur in an object when it vibrates at a natural frequency. If a nearby object vibrates at the same frequency, it can cause resonance. Resonance is an increase in the amplitude of a vibration that occurs when external vibrations match an object's natural frequency. The Tacoma Narrow Bridge, or Galloping Gertie, may have collapsed because of resonance. Storm winds are said to have resonated with the natural frequency of the bridge. This caused the amplitude of the bridge, bridge's swaying to increase until the bridge collapsed. You can see the results of the collapse in figure 7.